off, I quite possibly just won the greatest competition known to man. No, it's not the lottery, but it's freaking close. Now, before I unbox, quite possibly the greatest thing ever, I am going to do a little story time. And yes, by the way, my name's Jen, Dogman Addict Traveler. Please subscribe. So, a few months ago, I saw on Instagram that Doc Martens was having a cool like art exhibition where they would show a couple of like customized docs and I was like, hey, I should go. I'm the resident Doc Martin guru here on YouTube. I need to make presents. Maybe someone will notice me, but probably not. So I went over to the store over in Newmarket in Auckland and I didn't actually see any Doc Martens that had been customized. I was like, just casually looking around like, oh, where is the stuff? I got complimented on my outfit, which was nice. But I was like, where are these Doc Martens? So I asked the girl, which is quite hard for me being an introvert. I was like, where are, where's the exhibition? And she was like, oh, it's just like around the corner. Like you just have to go through the shopping center and it's like on the other side. So she also mentioned there was a competition. So here I go, toddling off. Eventually I find it. And there's about four pairs of Doc Martens. Now, I personally thought there might have been a few more. Like, was it going to be a massive exhibition? Like, so many Docs? No, it wasn't. It was just like four kind, four or five Doc Martens that had been customized. Some were pretty cool. And I was like, okay, cool. There's a guy sitting in the middle who was doing some customization for if you brought your Docs, you could get them customized. Which to me is a little bit scary because Doc Martens cost a lot. And I was wearing my Bethans that day and they were like, hey, do you want to customize your docs? And I was like, I don't know about this. This is about my babies. I was like, I think about it. And also, excuse me, where is the competition? Because I was kind of under the assumption that you had to go to this place to enter the competition. And she was like, no, you just have to go over to the store and enter the competition. And I was like, I was just at the store. I was like, yeah, let's just, Let's just do it, let's enter the competition, may as well just try, nothing's gonna happen. A couple of days later, I'm just working, living my life, and then I get this email. Basically it says, Jen, you have won the ultimate competition ever. Not only have you won some customized 1461s to celebrate the 1461 birthday thing, you have also won an $1,000 gift card to Doc Martens. Pew. And the whole night I was like, I won, I won. And then, yeah, I told you guys on Instagram and you were all excited. And uh, probably the most exciting moment of my life. I'm not trying to boast, I'm just trying to fuel the fact that we're all excited for this, right? Anyways, since then I have been waiting and waiting. I've got the shoes. They are right here but I don't have the voucher yet. So give me your suggestions below on what Doc Martens I should get with that voucher because a thousand dollars, like, I don't even think I could get that many shoes if Doc Martens finally actually sponsored me. Also, by the way, Doc Martens, if you're listening, hello, hello, please sponsor me or work with me someday. Now I've probably been rambling this video for so long, but the artist who did these, is called Finn. I will add his Instagram here, but he has designed these shoes and honestly I got them yesterday and I had to open them straight away. So I'm sorry that I'm not doing the unboxing in front of the camera here, but I'll switch over to past Jen to show her excitement. I kind of said I really like yin yang, so we'll see if that's actually on the shoe and we'll see if I can even open it. Clearly, I can't. I see a Doc Martin box. Ugh. And they are, in fact, 1461s. <gasps> it says Doc Martens times FGW, which is, I guess, the artist. We got the smooths. And we got, let's line this up, some rad shoes that don't fully have yin yang on them. Oh, there's one yin yang. So many rad stuff on here. Wonder if the other shoe's the same or different. I think it's slightly different. 
and they look so cool. Such like graffiti art look and I cannot wait to wear them in although they're probably gonna hurt and I'm probably gonna ruin all this art when I crease them. Just so exciting. Look at them. Yes, I will probably go back to other gen in the video and talk to you more about them. So yeah, they are freaking cool. They're right here. I'll get them out of the box. Oh my goodness. They are so cool and I've been looking at them overnight just trying to see everything that's on them we got teeth grr, the british flag music spider web new zealand fern and we got a yin yang a skull swooshy bit here i love this eye there's just another eye on these ones broken heart knife crocodile eye kiora which is very new zealand which is great because i'm about to leave new zealand and it's so cool to have new zealand inspired shoes diamond we got an axe and on the back we got some stars so ah oh, that is just the left foot the right foot has other stuff on it the spider web We've got the teeth here, but it doesn't say eat me. A smiley face, peace sign, Auckland. Deal with it. Thing that you do in high school when you're trying to do cool graffiti art. This bit here, which is a lightning bolt. Rock and roll, a cool crown, pyramid, and also a shark, a tooth. We have this arrow going through the shoes and the eye and a music symbol, which is also on the other one too. They are the coolest stuff ones I own now. And I'm so scared to crease them, so... Yes, I am now gonna do like an impromptu like how I style these because why not? It's my first time putting it on, it's so exciting. I'm actually gonna add my disgusting orthotics from when I was like a teenager into these to just fill them up a bit and I'll see if it's the right fit for me. Oh, I didn't anticipate to film today. Um, my legs are freaking... So hairy. Pretend you can't see it. Ooh, that looks really cool. I, love that. I don't know if you can see all of me, but hello. This would be like the perfect outfit for you guys who are over in summer. I got this really lightweight romper thing that I got from the thrift store, and we got a black t-shirt underneath so I can kind of pair the black with the black shoes. I also have this jewelry on that I have not taken off in months, which is from Rellery. Yeah. Next up, I have gone a little bit more basic to make the shoes basically the main event. We have the red socks and the cool shoes, black jeans and a black crop top. But it's like cool girl chic, which I always feel like I end up just like trying really hard to make a cool outfit and it looks kind of just like lame on me, but you can easily use the basics. Add some docks and boom. You got the sickest outfit. I feel like this combo is like perfection because the pants go very high up. The shirt is very short, but you only show like the tiniest line of skin. So it kind of breaks up the whole black and black look. And yeah, you can totally add a jacket. And we got this kind of scenario. Whoosh. Now you've probably seen this jumpsuit about a bazillion times on me. But fashion is supposed to be worn and not just worn once. Here I have styled it with this bag, which is actually my shoulder bag, but I've made it a little like fanny pack. Plus my signature fuck off socks. My boyfriend said he could see me in Japan and something like this and I agree. So Japan hit me up, I will come soon and I will be looking fabulous. Also, I can make myself into a green screen which is highly cool. Now jumpsuits are probably like the most comfiest thing you can ever wear, but when it comes to going to the bathroom, not the most convenient, so. I'm pretty sure this bad boy just like fits me like a glove. And when you find something like that in your life, you have to wear it. And even if it costs a little bit extra, at least you know you have something great. And it's from a sustainable brand. This is from a Big Bud Press. Now I didn't pay for it full price. I know this stuff can be super expensive. I did go to the Big Bud Press sample sale when we were allowed to leave the house <laughs> and I bought this for quite a steal. So always look out for sample sales for whatever brand you love. And yes, all right, a very unsafe outfit for me because I will definitely drop food on this. I don't know if cream and white work, so let me know in the comments. Kind of like that it kind of just 
makes you look at the shoes. We have the shirt that kind of goes with the aesthetic. Hold on, it's too bright. But it's this MGMT shirt. So yeah, I just tucked it in under my bra. Kept it more basic again, tying in the black shoes with the bag. All right, with this one, I thought I would go with the whole rock and roll inspired look. We got the kind of cheetah print vibe, animal print. And we have the green top and the green socks to kind of tie it all in. Basically, I have just tied it at the front and it has really girled up these kind of hardcore shoes. Again, I'm sorry, I always wear these overalls. But I haven't been wearing them that much lately because my hair is also red. This is different, different color combo that I have not tried and we're just keeping it simple. It's cool to have like a cool block of color with these graphic shoes. So that's what I've gone for this one. And I promise you guys, I do style other things. You just gotta watch the other videos. I just think that when it comes to these overalls, I'm gonna be buried in them. I'm gonna have them for the rest of my life. So get used to seeing them. And let's just finish at this one because my pants are too tight and I'm hungry right now. We got my classic yellow cords, which are from Lazy Oaf and they actually say, go away in the back. Let's just cover my butt there. And my fuck off socks, I got my highly aggressive shoes. So we can see the message that myself is giving to everybody, so yes. Also, we have a graphic tee, stripy sleeves, very casual, cool look with a pop of color on your bottom. So those are basically the coolest dog ones that I own. Woohoo! So yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have been so excited to share these with you guys and hopefully I'll be getting some other pairs with my voucher soon. I do feel kind of weird about having such a big voucher. I'm in one stage of my head just like really excited i'm like oh what can i get oh i'm so excited and everyone can like help me think of cool styles to get but then on the other side i'm like i already have so many dog mums i feel bad for the people who like may not have any and i'm over here just like being like oh i got this pair oh i got this pair but <laughs> to be honest i always get them second hand and I always save up so much money for them. I'm not rich or anything. Yeah, I'm just feeling a bit bad about having the voucher, but I'm also very excited, so. Mixed feelings here. Um, let me know what you think I should get and if you want me to have like a live stream or video showing you how I browse Doc Martens. Anyways, I have been Jen. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you love Doc Martens, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, my Instagram's at in the wonder years and until next time keep wondering <laughs> I can't believe it. That's so cute